Hello people, today we have a Galaxy S20 Plus here and uh, this phone is in retail mode. What we're going to do today is uh, convert it to a working phone and there's a few steps involved and a few things that uh, you need to do this. First of all, it's uh, uh, you need a computer, an internet connection, then you need to download the stock ROM for this device. You would also need Odin, that's a program you need to flash the phone with. Uh, I will be providing all the links uh, for this uh, procedure so please check the description so as you can see this is a retail mode phone um, G986U1 the IMEI as you can see is all zeros and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to repair that uh, but first of all, we need to flash a stock ROM on this device. And in order to flash the stock ROM, we would need a computer, preferably Windows, and we need Odin to flash it. And then uh, after flashing the stock ROM, we can do the IMEI repair. Uh, first step is to put this phone in download mode. And I believe it's the same way as... to do this 10 so holding um, all three buttons volume up down and power we're going to be putting the phone in download mode okay there it is the phone in download mode we're going to press volume up to continue now from this now from here we have to flash a stock ROM on the device so we're gonna go to the computer okay guys so we are here on uh, our computer and this is the Odin program we need to use uh, we're gonna be putting um, files in BL, AP, CP and CSC and the phone's in download mode connected with the PC so let's go ahead We're going to put BL in the BL uh, tab, then we're going to take AP, put it in AP tab, CP goes in CP tab, and CSC and CSC tab. Once all these four files are added, and you see that uh, your phone is connected, it's going to be this uh, uh, green highlighted tab here. Once you see that, that means the phone's connected, drivers are installed, just press start. And after pressing start, it could take up to 10 minutes to flash the ROM. So the ROM is flashing right now. Um, it's gonna take about five to 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm just gonna uh, fast forward the video, or maybe pause it, and then uh, once it's completed, I'll uh, start recording again. It looks like the flashing is uh, about to complete. As you can see, the, the green status bar is about to end. And uh, once this is completed, the phone will turn on and the demo mode will be removed. After the demo mode is removed, we can proceed with the IMEI repair process. Looks like the phone is about to load up and Let's get started. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the step. Let's look at the terms and conditions. Once you Wi-Fi would be quite handy here. Choose a network. You're just gonna skip through everything. So we are inside the device and if you notice um, the retail mode has been gone. Go to the settings, about phone, 
G986 U, that's why I flashed. You can flash G986 W or G986 U1 ROM. I mean, it's still zeros. It's gonna enable USB debugging. Once I can enable that, we will start the process of IMEA repair. See IMEA is zero. At this point, um, even if I put a SIM card inside the phone, it will not detect network because the IMEA is not assigned. So let's go ahead and do that IMEA repair. So as you can see currently, the phone doesn't have any network. The, the signal bar has a cross across it and um, if we go check out the IMEI it's all zeros I covered it because I'm gonna repair it and then the phone will be working if we go try to make a call right now this phone will say it's not registered onto the network Let's repair this phone. The phone will restart now and it should have network. So as we can see, it's registered already. Public mobile is there. We're getting the we're getting LTE. Uh, let's try to make a phone call. So it is making the phone call and let's check internet connectivity and internet's working so as you can see it's the same device Settings. let's go about phone and you can see there's a IMEA there I covered it uh, G986U, phone number showing, and uh, yeah, the phone's working now. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.